Hi, my name is David Beckham. I work for Mark Lanification. We're here at the NAMM Show 2008. This is the new JVM 2 Series. We have two heads, 100 watts and 50 watts, and three combos. A 100 watt 2x12, a 50 watt 2x12, and a 50 watt 1x12. Let's take a quick look at the head, shall we? Hopefully you're already very familiar with the JVM 410, which is the 4x4 channel version. This is a simplified version of that. It has a clean slash crunch channel and also an overdrive channel. Both channels are totally independent and just like the JVM4, both have three modes which are foot switchable. Also, foot switchable studio quality digital reverb with separate controls for both channels. Also, foot switchable master volumes one and two so you go from loud to stupidly loud. Also, in the back, two effects loops, one series parallel, the other one series. The series parallel one, you can foot switch. Also, in the same way as the JVM4 did it, you can program the foot switch to either change any one of these buttons or to remember any combination of buttons. Also, it's switchable via MIDI. The MIDI will control any, any and all of these buttons. The channel, the mode, the reverb on and off, the master volume off on and off, and the effects loop on and off. This one is the 100 watt head, 50 watt he head here, they look the same. Just different tubes, four EL34s, in the 100, two EL34s in the 50. Both have five 12 amp servers in the front end too. All tube path, kick ass amp, seamless switching. Also, the foot switch. Da -da -da. This is the foot switch for the JVM2s. Four buttons. Like I say, this can be switch channel or mode, reverb, master volume, or you can have this, remember, clean channel on green mode with reverb and master volume too, whatever you want. Also, LEDs here tell you what you've got. The channel, the mode, reverb, master volumes, and effects loop. Now, this thing here, this white amplifier here. You should all know that there was only one man who was famous for playing white marshals with black logos. His name was Randy Rhodes. May he rest in peace. One of the greatest guitar players in rock to ever walk this planet. This is a tribute head we've done to commemorate what he's done for music and for Marshall. We've worked very closely with the Rhodes family on this. In fact, we went into Randy's vault. The family have a vault where Randy's guitars and amplifiers are. We got his white amplifier out and checked all the specs out. Now, when Randy joined Ozzy in 19, late 79, when they went to England in 1980, he wanted a white Marshall. So Ozzy took him to the Marshall factory. He met with Marshall. They made him the white Marshall, and they also modified it for him. He wanted more gain. So this is an ugly era. Super League. By ugly here, I mean corners and the big logo and white piping as opposed to white beading. Also, if you go into channel one, it's the same as a Super League Plexi. If you go into channel two, however, the first preamp tube is cascaded. So both of these work, giving you more gain. So this still has no master volume, but you have two gain controls. So much more distortion than a regular Super League. So it's a modded by Marshall. Super Lee Plexi, Randy Rhodes signature, very limited edition, purely done as a, in commemoration of that great man. And that's all she wrote. So if, in France, you should buy many of these because they are great amplifiers, especially for French rock. 